Hi, in this video, we will explain vector subtraction, what they are used for, and how to perform them. Subtracting two vectors produce a third vector. So if we have vector 1 equals 5, 0, 0, and vector 2 equals 0, 5, 0, then v1 minus v2 will produce a third vector, v3, that is equal to subtracting corresponding components. 5 minus 0 is 5, 0 minus 5 is minus 5, and 0 minus 0 is 0. Let's try to see this in a 3D space. If we anchor our vector to a point A, the first vector, vector 1, will run in the direction of the positive x and will have 5 units. That is vector 1. Vector 2 will run in the positive y direction, 5 units. But what happens when we subtract two vectors? Suppose we had an object centered at our anchor point A. If we apply vector 1 and push it to the new location, it will land here by the end of vector 1. But if we apply a negative force to that object, so instead of pushing it in the positive y, we're going to push it into the negative y, by 5 units. So my object end up in this location, which is 5 in the x and minus 5 units in the y. So my subtraction vector will look like that. That is v1 minus v2. When you do vector subtraction, you need to notice the order of operation because v2 minus v1 produce a different vector, v4. And let's see, let's calculate the result. v2 minus v1, so 0 minus 5 is minus 5. 5 minus 0 is 5, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So when you say v2 minus v1 is equivalent to moving first the object to the tip of my v2 and then apply a negative force of the v1, so the opposite direction, so it will land in that location. So v2 minus v1 produce a vector that is the same length as v1 minus v2, but it is the opposite direction. Same length, opposite direction. That is v1 minus v2 versus v2 minus v1. Notice that in vector addition, we didn't have this problem. We could add vector 1 to vector 2 or vector 2 to vector 1, and we will produce the exact same vector as a result. But when do we use vector subtraction. What are the practical application of vector subtraction? Let me move or anchor my vector 1 minus vector 2 to the tip point of the representation of vector 2. You'll see that it will basically take me from the tip of one vector to the tip of the other vector. This is very useful to create vectors between the tip points of two vectors or to create a vector between two points. We'll explain that into some detail when we go to the grasshopper example. But the practical application of when vector subtraction is used is to find the vector that goes between the two points of two vectors. 
Let me explain how that is useful and how that actually translates to subtracting two points and getting a vector between these two points. The useful application of subtracting two points is to find a vector that go between the two points. Let's explain that in terms of vector operations. Using my 3D coordinate system, suppose I had the two points A and B. I can think of these two points as the two points of two position vectors. Let's call them A and B. That's position vector A, and this is position vector B. Subtracting position vectors A minus B will generate a vector that goes from B to A. This is straight from the vector subtraction. Now we know that the position vector components are the same as the two point coordinates. This is why subtracting two points create a vector that goes between these two points. So subtracting two points A minus B will produce a vector that goes to the first point is the two point and the second point is the from point. So it produces a vector V that goes from B to point A. Let's look at an example in Grasshopper. Suppose we have two vectors. Vector 1 is the black vector, 5, 0, 0. And vector 2 is the blue vector that is equal to 0, 9, 0. How can we subtract vector 1 from vector 2 or vector 2 from vector 1? And what kind of result do we get? In order to subtract two vectors, you can use the grasshopper subtract component. Let me mark that to be v1 minus v2. And let's copy the display to display the resulting vector. I'll change the color to red. So vector 1 goes into the A input, and vector 2 goes to the B input. And let's display the result by hooking it into a vector display. I get the red vector, which basically what it does is it pushes in the positive of the first vector and then to the negative of the second vector. What happens if I reverse it, do V2 minus V1. I will put V2 into the first input A of the subtraction and V1 into the second. Let's add it to the display holding the shift key. As you can see, I got a vector that goes to the opposite direction and it appears to have the same length. Let's double check. Vector length. And the length of the first vector subtraction is 10.3, while the length of the second subtraction is also 10.3. So we produce two vectors that are same length and going into the opposite direction. Now let's talk about subtracting points. Let's try to subtract two points in a grasshopper and see what happens. I'll create the two points. I'll call this point A and just reference the coordinate point in Rhino. Now, in order to display this point a little bit more clearly, I will use a symbol display. You can find symbol display under display, preview, and then symbol display. The simple display takes a uh, material, so this is just a simple symbol. And here I'm just going to use the defaults. But if you are curious to see what are these inputs are for, this is the X is the symbol style, and then S is the size, R is the rotation angle, and C is 
the color. That goes into the D to identify or to define the style. If you look at what the simple display takes as an input, it takes a point and the uh, specification of your symbol. So I'll feed the point into the P and you will see that symbol is created here. I could change the style to be a cross. That's more indicative of a point. And I can change the color to whatever I want. Let's use a swatch. And in this case, I'll make my first point A red. I'll just copy to create my second point B. I'll change the color to green and select a new reference location. Let's say my point B, the green one, is in that location. Just to switch that down here. Okay, what happens if I subtract two points, A minus B, using the subtract component? Point A minus point B, the red minus the green. Now, if I try to display the vector, I'll need an anchor point. I'll use a vector display, and I'll feed it my result, which is a vector. Subtracting two points produce a vector. As we learn, the vector created by subtracting two points is to the first point from the second point. So I'll anchor to the second point to view my vector. I think I'll use the second kind of display so I can see a bigger vector. So my vector goes here and my anchor point goes there. So my vector going from point B to point A can be achieved by subtracting A minus B. Always the to minus the from. And in parametric design, you'll find yourself using this point subtraction to create vectors to describe the relative location between points.